There's this description of science as a set of facts. There are all sorts of things that we need to learn, and here they are. Here's a textbook, here's some tests. Read it, learn it, I'll tell you what's most important, and then spit it back. I think that gives a kind of false impression that there are just these facts out there waiting to be found. <laughs> you kind of pick them up, and then you have something worth talking about. Almost every student I teach at some point will use the word the scientific method. <laughs> One gets the sense that the scientific method is some kind of recipe for discovering things in science, and that's not true at all. A lot of imagination has to be taken into account, and one has to know what one's looking at before one can even determine any of these things. All true scientists know there's no real scientific method. We start the students off in the freshman year with a lot of drawing. Part of what we're trying to do is what I think of as the detoxification program. <laughs> to try to kind of forget that they know what's going on and really just look at what's in front of them. Learning how to look, learning how to see, turns out to be very, very difficult. It's not something that comes to any of us easily. It involves a lot of time and a lot of thinking and a lot of even being quiet with one's soul. The way that St. John's treats everything, every subject of inquiry, is as an open-ended question. We read a text and then we talk about it and we try to sort it out. And we don't worry if the question goes in some other direction. St. John's makes a commitment to the idea that knowledge is connected. The truth of the matter is these great natural scientists wrote a lot of different things which would be classified in different disciplines now, so it's wonderful for the students to get to see the natural scientists themselves seem to break down this notion of compartmentalized disciplines. I really like that our conversations go where the question takes us, and sometimes it's not where you thought you were going. It's not fruitful and it's generally false to just say, okay, there's this limited question that I'm going to use this limited sort of thinking to try to address. Doing the laboratory, there's a lot of time where we're just, I guess, playing, but playing in a kind of serious way. So I would say that science is not a completely rational study. It's much more complicated than most people think. Doing more open-ended practica and not being given the answers, I think it makes you alive to the question. It's not about building an edifice of information. It's about encountering the world and making the understanding your own.